Hello? I saw you on the television last night, Mr. Hen, and I think we should talk. Who is this? To the words, vital facts that could prevent a tragic and unnecessary end for the big fellow. Ring a bell? Nancy, it's Wrightwood. Dr. Wrightwood? Yes, how are you? Uh, fine. Could we get together? Sure, anytime now, this afternoon. Well, come to the house. How about dinner? Hello? Are you, are you still uh, there? Sorry, bad connection. You're up near Index, right? Just take the I-5 right into town. We're in the Wallingford section. George, what are you doing? I'm Wallace Wrightwood. Dr. Wrightwood. May I come in? Yes, of course you can. Nancy, this is uh, Dr. Wrightwood. He's the curator of the Bigfoot Museum I told you about. I'm pleased to meet you. Likewise, thank you. These are beautiful. Mm. Oh, this is our daughter, Sarah. Hello. Oh, and uh, this is our son, Ernest. Ernie? Hello. Hello. This is Dr. Wrightwood. Something sure smells... Good. Oh, that's dinner. <laughs> Roast beef. Mom, where's the roast? Ah, oh, the roast. I'll get it, honey. Oh, the roast is uh, resting in a shallow, unmarked grave in the backyard. Oh. Right. Well, there's plenty of other stuff. Are you vegetarians? Uh, sometimes. It depends on the guest. probably know your dad paid me a visit the other day at my museum. I liked him. And what I'm going to say now just might save his life. I don't understand. When I was younger, I used to have a good job working as a lab scientist. Life was great. And then something happened on a hunting trip darn near 50 years ago that let the air out of everything. I went off for a walk one day in the woods. I heard a rustle behind. Then I smelled something that made my eyes water and my lungs smoke. By the time I turned around, all I saw was a streak of fur. On the ground, there was a footprint. A big footprint. So I was uh, hooked from that moment on. I started spending all the time I could spare searching for the beast, then I spent time I couldn't spare. That's how I lost my job and my friends. So sad. Well, I didn't tell it so you could cry in your sprouts or whatever that is, darling. I'm telling it so that your father won't make the same mistake. Well, I appreciate what you're saying, Dr. Wrightwood, but there's a big difference between your story and mine. Not as big as you think. Maybe even bigger. No, 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 you're kidding yourself. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I remember what you told me when you came into my shop. Bigfoot can come live with us. We'll accept the responsibility. <laughs> can you imagine what a Bigfoot would do to your home? <laughs> yeah, well, I can. You're good people. I'm going to say this once. I'm going to say it simple. And I hope to God, for your sakes, you all listen. There are no abominable snowmen. There are no Sasquatches. There are no big feet. <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> Oh.
Oh, Lord. Lord God. Dr. Wrightwood, say hello to Harry. Hello. 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 Yeah! Something? Oh, yes, he's so smart, too. I mean, George has taught him how to sit. To sit? Oh. We haven't quite perfected it yet. Hungry? He lives here with you? Temporarily. 